The Hidden History of Enslaved Black Wet Nurses A Story of Exploitation and Resilience Throughout history, the practice of wet nursing, where one woman breastfeeds another's child, has been both common and controversial. In ancient times, it was seen as a convenience for wealthy families who could afford to pay for such services. However, as we look closer at the dark side of this practice, particularly during slavery in the American South and other parts of the world, a more tragic story unfolds. The exploitation of enslaved women as wet nurses. In the antebellum South, wet nursing became a status symbol for white slave-owning families. White women, particularly those from wealthy households, often found breastfeeding to be unfashionable and inconvenient. Rather than nurse their own babies, they turned to enslaved black women to do it for them. These wet nurses were seen not as women, but as commodities, valued solely for their ability to provide nourishment. In fact, by 1850, around 20% of white enslavers relied on enslaved wet nurses to feed their children. The exploitation was not limited to the American South. In Brazil, where slavery also thrived, Advertisements for wet nurses were common and dehumanizing. One ad might read, For rent, a wet nurse with very good milk, reducing the woman to little more than a vessel for food production, her own needs and humanity ignored entirely. The cruelty and trauma enslaved. Wet nurses faced. The horrors faced by enslaved wet nurses are hard to comprehend. Enslavers would time their pregnancies to coincide with those of their enslaved women, separating new black mothers from their own babies immediately after birth. These women, stripped of their motherhood, were forced to breastfeed the enslavers' infants, while their own children went without. It wasn't uncommon for enslaved mothers to be beaten if they showed any reluctance to comply. The emotional toll of this separation was devastating. Some of these enslaved women developed a reputation as cold or unloving mothers. But this was a lie perpetuated by those in power to justify their cruelty. In reality, they were torn from their children at their most vulnerable moments, forced to care for the very children of the people who kept them in bondage. The Tragic Impact on Enslaved Children The impact of this practice on enslaved children was catastrophic. While white children received the vital nutrients of their enslaved wet nurses' milk, the enslaved mother's own babies were often left to survive on cow or goat milk, leading to malnutrition and high infant mortality rates. The practice didn't just rob mothers of their ability to bond with their babies. It also left black children undernourished and at a higher risk of death. The emotional and psychological wounds of these separations lasted a lifetime. For both the mothers forced into wet nursing and their children, this traumatic disruption of their natural bonds created a legacy of pain that shaped entire generations. Complex power dynamics between black and white women the relationships between black wet nurses and the white women who used them were complex. On the surface, white women were the passive beneficiaries of black women's labor, enjoying the comforts of motherhood without the effort of breastfeeding. However, the reality was far more disturbing. Some historians argue that white women actively manipulated black women's motherhood for their own gain controlling their reproductive lives, and making decisions that directly impacted the health and well-being of enslaved families. This wasn't just about convenience. It was about power. White women, though oppressed by a patriarchal system in their own right, exercised control over enslaved women in ways that reinforced the racial and economic hierarchies of the time. The Lingering Legacy of Wet Nursing The legacy of wet nursing 
and the exploitation of enslaved black women lives on in subtle ways today. For example, there is still a racial gap in breastfeeding rates in the United States. Many point to historical trauma, socioeconomic challenges, and disparities in healthcare access as factors that continue to affect black women's ability to breastfeed. In predominantly black neighborhoods, hospitals may lack the resources and support that mothers need, and formula companies disproportionately target these communities with aggressive marketing campaigns. As we reflect on the history of wet nursing, it is clear that the exploitation of enslaved black women had far-reaching consequences, both for their own families and for future generations. A call to honor and act. The story of enslaved black wet nurses is one of unimaginable hardship, but also of resilience and survival. It's important to honor the strength of these women who endured so much. Their legacy is a call to action, to work towards a future where all mothers, regardless of race or background, are treated with dignity, respect, and humanity. It is a reminder that the fight for justice and equity is far from over, but also that it is a fight worth continuing. <laughs>